and you're going to erase and eradicate and eliminate that voice and code in the voice that says, yes, this is what you're meant to do. This is what you're here on the planet to do. And no one can do this. Like you're going to become your own cheerleader. You're going to shut down the critic, install the cheerleader. And I promise you, just being able to do that is actually life changing. So my meditations are called nicer and nicer means it's new, it's innovative. You're going to impress upon yourself what you want. You're going to call in and code in your desire. You're going to erase the old stuff. You're going to repeat. So you're going to have your eyes closed. I'm going to ask you quite early on in this meditation to take these two fingers to touch the area right in between your eyebrows and to impress upon yourself what you want to make a little indentation or a circle to impress, install, instruct how you want to be. And then I'm going to ask you to hold out your hands in this receiving position and call in what you want. And I want you to focus on what it feels like, what it sounds like, what it looks like, what it smells like. You heard the smell of success, the taste of fame. And then when you hear that little voice going, oh, that won't work. You've tried that before. Who are you to do that when really the answer is, who am I not? You I mean, imagine if Frank Sinatra was a plumber. What if, if Eminem, if Ed Sheeran was an electrician, what a waste. When you're given a gift, you're given that gift to share it with the world, whether it's inventing something, being a powerful seller, Whatever it is, you're supposed to share it. So when you hear that little voice going, mm, no, you're going to just move from side to side just like that. And you're going to erase and eradicate and eliminate that voice and code in the voice that says, yes, this is what you're meant to do. This is what you're here on the planet to do. And no one can do this. Like You're going to become your own cheerleader. You're going to shut down the critic install the cheerleader and I promise you just being able to do that is actually life-changing. So remember people get very confused about meditation. I've got to empty my mind. No, the human mind is not designed to be emptied or stilled or shut down. In fact, your subconscious mind is always switched on. It's always on record and you don't have to do this perfectly. You just have to do it. Let's do it together. I promise you all it can do is help you and improve you. It can't hurt you. can't damage you. It can just take you to a better place. So close your eyes and please keep your eyes closed, even if you don't want to. We, we start to use our subconscious mind, the controlling mind, when we're, well, our eyes are shut. And remember, you have two minds. You have a subconscious and a conscious. The subconscious is emotional. The conscious is logic, and here's a rule of your mind. Emotion will defeat logic every time. The logic of I know I can go on stage, and I've got this speech already. I know I can pitch to a client. I know I can go for that interview because I know I've got the talent. That's the logic, but the emotion, <gasps> what if they don't like me? What if I blank? What if I blow it? What if... I don't get the job and I'm so disappointed, will defeat the logic that says I'm worthy of this and I deserve it. So you need your eyes shut to go into that emotional mind, which is going to defeat the logic. So close your eyes, keep them closed, and just practice breathing in and breathing out. Just inhale and exhale. Just simply take a breath and give a breath away. That's the first thing you did when you came onto the planet. You took a breath, you gave one away. You had that perfect balance of giving, receiving, receiving, giving. And today you're going to get really outstandingly good at receiving praise and giving praise back to yourself. So just practice receiving a breath and giving one away. And then I want you to tune into what it would be like if you couldn't receive. And so to imagine what that's like, inhale, give all that breath away, but do not take one back as weird as that feels. Just keep exhaling, keep giving that breath away, but do not receive one. 
And you know that you could probably do that for four minutes, but you'll probably find 30 to 40 seconds is enough before you start to think, well, this isn't comfortable. This doesn't feel good, just uh, giving and not receiving. And I want you to remember that as a metaphor for how bad it feels when you cannot receive praise. And now let's do it the other way. Now take that breath back, start receiving. But this time I want you to keep breathing in, taking a breath, taking more breath, taking even more breath and don't give. This time just receive. And as you keep breathing in and knowing that, of course, you can hold your breath for four minutes as you keep taking more and giving less, you'll notice too that that too doesn't feel comfortable. So another moment, and now just go back to giving, receiving, receiving and giving, remembering that what you give to yourself, the praise you give to yourself is the thing that is going to dramatically, powerfully change your life. So as you continue to breathe in and to breathe out, I want you to imagine how your life would be if you didn't have imposter syndrome, if you absolutely believed in yourself, if you knew with unshakable conviction that you had a gift and your job was to share that gift, how would your life be if you could fill yourself up with the praise you needed to hear? If you go out into the world in your chosen career and know that you're amazing and outstanding and worthy of and deserving of success, how would that feel? I want you to take those two fingers and just press the area in between your eyebrows. And I want you to impress upon yourself what you want. Forget about what you don't want. Let's just focus on what you want. And I want you to say out loud, as you press, I want you to repeat after me what I require of myself, what I give to myself, and what I insist on for myself is phenomenal, extraordinary self-belief. With your eyes closed, still pressing, say that again and make your voice have this kind of unshakable, unwavering conviction. What I require for myself. Repeat after me what I give to myself. Repeat, what I insist on for myself is knowing I'm worthy, knowing I have a gift, I have a talent, and I'm here to share that with the world. I'm here to give and receive, to give of my gift and talent, and to receive wealth, praise, recognition, my gift and talent and still with your eyes closed open out your hands into that receiving pose and I want you to call in to code into yourself what it looks like when you move through the world knowing that you are significant that you you matter that you're worthy how is your body language how do you hold yourself how do you walk how do you talk how are you when your boss says, let's do an analysis of your progress? How are you when you're meeting someone who's going to maybe do a joint venture with you? How are you when you go for an interview? Let's focus on what it looks like and what you want it to look like. Because if you can see that in your mind, you can achieve it. If you can see yourself moving through the world with confidence, with unshakable self-belief with a certainty that you matter and you've got an incredible gift. If you can see it, you can achieve it. Because if you can see it, it's in you. And now I want you to add to that, what does it feel like when you wake up going, wow, I love what I do. I do what I love. I'm really good at my job. And not only do I know that, People around me recognize that I'm gifted, that I'm talented, that I've got something to offer the world. Imagine what it feels like when you get recognition and feedback that says you're extraordinary, 
You're amazing. I'm so glad you work with this company. You are indispensable to this team. We value you so much. Or what would it feel like if you work for yourself and you tell yourself those same things? I'm doing a great job. What does it look like? Code that into yourself. What does it feel like? And here's a biggie. What does it sound like? And right now I want you to start saying the words, the words that you're waiting for someone else to say, the words that you're giving someone else, the power to say or not say to you. I want you to say, I'm amazing. I'm extraordinary, I'm gifted, I'm talented. I have something phenomenal and exceptional to offer the world and no one on the planet can do my job quite like me. And let's say that again because of course the mind learns by repetition, I am amazing. I'm exceptional, I'm gifted, I'm talented, I'm extraordinary in my career. I have gifts and skills that make me stand out as amazing. And I want you to take another minute and I want you to add to that because you know better than me the words you've been waiting your entire career to hear. If you had an amazing boss who gave you incredible feedback, what would he say? Whatever it is, say it now, say it out loud and say it with a strong convicting voice. Go ahead. And I want you to say it again and again. I have a gift. I have a talent. I am worthy of recognition and success. I walk through the world knowing that I matter, that I'm significant, that I have something unique to offer the world. Say it again and say it again. And what will happen is as you continue to say it, you might hear a voice going, no, everyone else is better than me. I don't really think I can pull off. When I say it, I already feel I'm lying. So I want you to just slowly move from side to side, two inches to the left, two inches to the right. And as you move from side to side, as you rock, as you sway, I want you to imagine you are erasing, eradicating, eliminating, and releasing those limiting beliefs. You see, the glass ceiling only exists in your imagination. These words are not coming from your boss or your clients or your colleagues. They're coming from you. And I want you to just feel them becoming erased, eradicated. Keep swaying. And as you sway, you are erasing, eradicating, eliminating. You are releasing limiting beliefs and blocking thoughts that only exist in your imagination. You see, people don't see you the way you see you. You see yourself as maybe not as exceptional as you could be, but other people don't. So again, one more time, I want you to just erase, eradicate, eliminate, shatter, end, release, those limiting beliefs, let them go. You may think, well, who told me that? Was it a teacher? Was it a parent? Was it a relative? What did they know? Did they say, don't get ideas above your station? We're not the kind of people that ever make that sort of money. These things just don't happen to people like us. Don't aim too high. You might be disappointed. Whatever you're hearing that is negative sway, and as you sway, let it go. Let those beliefs go. You were not born with them. And just feel them shrinking, fading, erasing, eradicating, eliminating. Let them go. And as you feel them going, hold your hands out again and again. Call in what you want. 
What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like, that taste of success? What does it smell like? You see, fear has a smell, but so does confidence. And what do you hear? What does it sound like? And I want you to imagine that you can hear your heartbeat. It's deep and rhythmic. Your breathing is steady. Your body language is perfect. Your energy level is that of someone who's exceptional. And your self-talk is profoundly amazing. As you say things like, I'm a success. People can only find out from me that I'm gifted. That's the only thing. If you looked into me, all you could see is talent say that. If you look into me, if you look over me and around me and through me, you will see talent. If you cut into me like a stick of rock, you'll see talent and self-worth at my very core. And I want you to say, I accept praise because I deserve it and I let it in. I validate myself every day with my own praise. And in doing that, it's so easy for me to be more validated by the praise of other people because I know I deserve it. I know I'm worth it. I'm good enough just the way I am. I'm phenomenal. I don't have to prove it. Of course I do great work. But I already have something amazing to offer the world. I accept success. I accept praise. Every day I focus on the fact that I'm worthy of, deserving of, and ready for success. And let's do all of that again. I am a success. I feel like a success. And when people see me and see the real me, they see somebody amazing with something incredible to offer the world. I accept praise because I'm worth it. And I praise myself every day because my self-esteem grows as I accept praise, which I do all the time. Keep repeating these words. And I'm talking not about me, but you. when I say I, I'm talking about you, not me. I feel validated. I accept success. I accept recognition. I accept praise. I feel great. I'm on this planet to be amazing, and I'm loving every minute of being amazing. And I want you to continue doing this just for one more minute or two. And as you say, I accept praise. If you hear those going, no, you don't. You know what to do. Just sway from side to side. Turn that voice into Minnie Mouse or Tweety Pie or Donald Duck. Laugh and go, yeah, watch me. So keep saying the things that will grow your self-esteem, that will nourish your soul, that will grow you as a person. And when you hear that little silly voice saying, no, I want you to turn it into Mickey Mouse and laugh at it, turn it into Donald Duck and go, yeah, why don't you just stand back and watch who I am and what I'm doing? And again, erase that limiting voice. Shut it down. You're turning that inner critic into a powerful cheerleader. And the cheerleader only knows how to bang cymbals, blow a trumpet, bang a drum, scream your name, do cartwheels and say things like, you've got this, you're amazing, go you. No one can do this better. Even on a bad day, a cheerleader cheers and goes, well, it doesn't matter, you'll be amazing tomorrow. So I want you to know that you have the power every day, every hour to shut down your inner critic like turning down a radio, but turning on your cheerleader who cheers and believes in you and says the words you've been waiting to hear for years and don't wait another moment. Say them, repeat them, state them, affirm them, validate who you are. And very quickly you'll find that that whole IP 
is something you used to have once upon a lifetime ago. It is shrinking, fading, disappearing. It's leaving you. So take another moment and remember, even though we're just spending a little while on this, this technique isn't going to self-implode. You can do this anytime at all on the commute to work, when you're in the bar, just before you go to sleep, just after you wake up, at any time, just before an important meeting, you can impress upon yourself what you require and insist on for you. You can code in and call in what it looks like, sounds like, feels like. And you can erase and eradicate anything that would get in your way, including your own limiting beliefs. And you can repeat and rewire and be a cheerleader instead of a critic because criticism withers and praise and cheering grows. And you're growing as a person right now. And you're going to continue growing. So when you're ready, just open up your eyes and just come back into the room and take a moment. Check out my next video here. You can't die from rejection. It just feels like you can, but you can't. And no one can reject you unless you give them permission. They can say mean things, horrible things, but you can choose not to let it in.